Okay, so here's a quick video of how to set up the uh, inverter. I got those DC cables I showed you up on the roof. They're coming down this conduit right here. And I bring those into the inverter. So there's the green ground. It's going to the main ground here. Right here. And this, uh, I'll explain this side in a second. So the, ground, the green ground goes to right here. And then the two negative and positive. Make sure you remember because a lot of uh, solar panel wire is just all black. And it uses the MC4 connections to differentiate between positive and negative. So make sure you remember which one is positive and negative. I put a little piece of duct tape on the end of the positive one. And uh, so I knew which one it was. So anyway, on this particular inverter, this is the Aurora... Um, Power one is the inverter, and uh, this is the second time I've set this inverter up. I did one for my dad's solar panel system last year, but uh, pretty nice little uh, inverter here. I guess it's kind of big compared to some of the other ones. Sorry, it's not, just not focusing. There we go. So uh, it it has two separate MPPT channels, and what that's for is if you have two different uh, solar arrays and you want one facing maybe east or west and the other one facing south you you would put them on uh, different arrays here so you'd have uh, one on one MPPT channel and one the other one on the other MPPT channel what uh, that does is it reads them separately so if the voltage drops when the other one leaves the Sun say you have one on the east side in the morning it'd be great but the one on the south side that doesn't have as strong a sun in the morning would be dragging down the one on the east side and then vice versa when it gets into a little bit further on during the day. So, and that's just the way DC voltage works. When you run it in series, everything runs off of the lowest voltage. So the lowest voltage would be the panels that are shaded or darker. And so that would mess up the panels that are in the sun. They wouldn't be producing the power that they had the potential to produce. So what you'd do is you'd run two separate MPPT channels, um, two separate strings. And so the, these wires would, in this one, would go over to the east facing and these would go to the south facing or west facing depending on your house orientation. So uh, with mine though, they're all south facing. And so what I've done is I'm only doing a parallel uh, bridged mode so it's not using the two separate channels I have you obviously can see I only have them going in one channel and then those are going into or actually something you can't see up here in this other compartment they are bridged together so these are acting as one channel right now so anyway and then we have the AC side right here this is um, the middle one right here it is a uh, 240 split phase which is the US standard 240 phase and those are going out so you have your um, line 1 line 2 and then a neutral line right here so it's just standard 240 volt wiring uh, and that's going to a 30 amp breaker in my breaker box and that comes out here and it's going in this conduit over to my breaker box and then uh, this ground right here also goes over to my breaker box and connects to the main rail for the ground for the house. Uh, and so that's why that one's there. But, um, and that's all connected there. That grounds the whole system right there. So this green ground coming from the panels is grounded and it's grounded through into here. And same with this, all the inverter, the whole box is grounded through that. Um, so anyway, so that's the basic setup right there of the inverter. And there's, you can look up some more information if you end up getting this inverter so you can uh, see what you want to do. But uh, there's a quick rundown. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and uh, we'll go from there. The next video will be on setting up the inverter to uh, programming it to run the panels. So thank you.